Finally, in this last video um, of Unit 17, um, in this opening unit for genetics, um, it's just looking at um, electropherograms. So we, we initially talked about electropherograms in sequencing. Now, for standard level students, you don't need to know the specifics about sequencing, but you do need to be able to, um, so this is both for standard level and higher level, um, you do need to be able to read an electropherogram. You don't need to know how the sequencing actually occurred to get to the electropherogram. That's for the higher level students. They need to know that you had to run a gel electrophoresis. You need to you know the whole procedure of DNA sequencing. Um, but for, for standard level students, you only need to know um, what an electropherogram is and what it actually represents. And so an electropherogram is it's just a plot. It's a, it's a graph representation, it's a plot of results um, from an analysis that, um, and if you are a standard level student, it may not be a bad idea to go watch the last video on DNA sequencing um, and just watch the last bit where I talk about um, where I talk about the running of the gel electrophoresis and how we obtain this um, this uh, electropherogram. So that might give you a little bit of an idea, but um, you just need to be able to decode uh, what this looks like. So it's a plot of results from a from an electrophoresis um, a gel, uh, from an electrophoresis sequencing gel, um, and what they're used for, um, and they're most commonly uh, used for deriving results from uh, genealogical testing. So this is very common nowadays and it's actually genealogical DNA testing. Um, this is common now. Um, there's kits that you can buy um, and get this done. Um, also for paternity testing, or, um, uh, familial testing. Um, and so these are, these are common techniques that are used often in forensics as well um, to get an idea of uh, what the uh, DNA sequence might be. So it's just a graphical, um, it's a graphical representation of a, oops, of a sequence of DNA nucleotides. And to read this, it's actually quite easy. Um, we're not, you know, for it's it's quite. You'll you'll always be given. The, there will always be some sort of a um, a color code to this. And so the color code is given down here. Um, and as soon as you know what the color code is, you can actually start plotting this all the way through. So um, you start at the left, um, and I'm just going to do this in a color that none of them are showing up in. Um, so the sequence, and remember these are the last base pairs of the di dideoxynucleotides, and so um, we got T, G, the blue is C, T, G, A, T, C, T, G, so on and so on and so on. And so you would go all the way across and that um, this portion of the gene that you actually took as a sample um, to sequence, um, you, you put it through the cycle um, and you, you, got this, um, you got this graphical representation and all you had to do, and actually you wouldn't do this manually, this would all be done by computers, but this is a skill that you should be able to do and you may be asked a question on this. Um, you should be able to interpret this and you should be able to write out a sequence for this. So in terms of um, an electropherogram, this is all you need to know. Now, um, for ISB students, you have an assignment that you have to work on. Um, and for that assignment, you'll be given an unknown um, sequence uh, for which you will, uh, 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 and well, you'll be given three unknown um, electropherograms for which you have to figure out the sequence. And so that's gonna be your practice for uh, trying out the electropherograms. Um, other than that, that's, that's all there is to this, um, and I will leave it there at that. And with that, that is the end of Unit 17. Uh, ISB students, there is a small assignment. Uh, please pay attention to your Google Classroom. Um, with this, we finish um, looking at genes and genomes. Uh, the next unit, we will look at um, chromosomes, then moving on to um, the lovely topics of both mitosis and meiosis uh, before we get into inheritance.
um, and getting and then moving into higher level inheritance. And so uh, we're just getting started with the uh, with the genetics, but uh, this should be uh, um, quite a, a, a cool little um, topic that's going to come up soon.